the next 10 years, there are a few jobs that will disappear. Insurance underwriters, bank tellers, financial analysts, construction workers, farmers, and taxi drivers. Who knows what else? All this is because of the artificial intelligence revolution that is happening right now. This is also the first time in U.S. history when the next generation will be less prosperous than their parents. This worries me because I have three teenagers in the house. What do I get them to do to prepare for this unknown future? Some parents want their children to become doctors, some lawyers, some accountants, and some engineers. All this when we don't even know what opportunity will exist in the future. So here's my thinking. All teens have some interest. It may be sports or music or math or biology or medicine. Let's just say one of my teens, Ishwar, is interested in math. On this novice to expert line, he's likely to fall somewhere in this range. It'll be great if he's so good that he's on the top 1% of math professionals in the world, but the chances of that is going to be pretty slim, purely from a statistical point of view. On the other hand, say Ishwar is also interested in music. Now we're getting somewhere. Along the music axis, he may not be the world's best, but let's say he's pretty good. Then he falls somewhere in here. Combining the two, his math and music expertise is pretty good. Only a smaller set of people in the world will have that combination. Now let's say Ishwar is a passionate gardener and he likes to understand how plants grow. He may or may not have taken formal botany classes, but he's pretty good at gardening. On a third axis, we'll find even fewer experts in math, music, and botany. As the number of dimensions increase, his chances to stand out increases. The artificial intelligence systems will take a while to catch up to this level of expertise. Currently, most AI systems focus on a single area of expertise, like playing chess, or like recognizing faces. I think it'll be 50 to 70 years before we can build strong AI systems, those that can do many more things. So Ishwar can stay ahead of the AI by using a combination of expertise. This also helps to focus on all his passions and interests at the same time. So let's see where Ishwar can work. Perhaps he'll work in an entirely new field that has not been invented yet, or he'll work in the field of hydroponics, which is a science of growing plants without soil. He can use his love for gardening, use his math skills for optimizing the processes, and his interest in music to explore if plants grow healthier in a musical environment. This combination is challenging even for strong AI. And it's going to be what I call the realm of creative AI. At least this is my theory. To prepare for the future with AI, we need to let our children pursue their passions and interests. We just have to make sure that they have a handful of those and some unique combination of these will place them at a competitive advantage compared to artificial intelligence. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching.